Hello and welcome to the Athena 40 podcast, Bouncing Back. I'm Elizabeth Filippouli, founder of Athena 40, an international platform promoting female leadership and connecting individuals from all over the world to exchange knowledge and insights. In this podcast, we are interviewing thought leaders, entrepreneurs and decision makers from all over the world. We are bringing you insights related to developments triggered by the coronavirus crisis and we speak with pioneering women from across different industries and countries. My guest today is Annabel Carmel, one of the UK's leading experts on family cooking. Annabel is a mother of three. She has been credited with starting a food revolution, not only in the UK, but internationally. Her recipes prove that babies and toddlers will eat their greens and much more if they are served in imaginative ways. Annabel, I'm very glad to welcome you to Bouncing Back and I do hope that everyone among your family and friends are keeping safe and well. Thank you. So far we have been well, but my mum is 90. So she hasn't been out for six weeks, so I deliver her food on a daily basis. And unfortunately, you know, it's so hard for old people because they can't really see us and be with their family. I think it's very difficult. It's very tough. Hopefully things will get better. The curve seems to be stabilizing a bit. So let's hope that, you know, we've got to the peak and it will go down now. But let's see. We're all doing our best. We're now making nearly 5,000 meals a day for the NHS. So we had nursery kitchens which closed because there weren't many nurseries and we were only supplying a few key nurseries which were supporting NHS workers and essential workers. So we turned our hand to making um, NHS food for key workers and vulnerable people and it seems to have grown and grown and grown. So at least we're doing some good and helping people. Um, So yeah, we're all doing our bit I think. I spent a lot of time this morning just like working on on what's going on with the NHS. We moved our kitchens to Saracens Rugby Club because I know Nigel Ray very well, who's the owner. And he very kindly let us um, start making meals there so we can make more meals there. So So how many meals a day? Well, we could go up to 10,000. They are volunteers, they all do it um, for no money and also the drivers as well. So yeah, it's been amazing. But then I'm also running my own business, which is my delivery to supermarkets. We have to keep supermarkets with food, but we had some meals. We had about £2,000 worth of meals that we just sent to Fair Share. So Fair Share will then distribute those to people who are vulnerable, especially families with children. So those are going out on Friday. So all of that takes quite a lot of organizing. And then after that, that's been about three hours work. And then after that, I've started to now talk. We've just had a Zoom call on retail and making sure that our supply to supermarkets like Tesco and Sainsbury's and all of that is still going on because people still need to eat. And, you know, supermarkets are still delivering food and we have to keep, keep our factories working. Before the coronavirus, most families didn't have the time to eat together. Now they are stuck inside and have no other option. Tell us a recipe that you cooked together with your daughters these days. Last night I cooked together with my daughters. I have two daughters and they're living with me now. Um, and we made this recipe. It was an absolutely fantastic recipe. I'd never made it before. It was my, my daughter got it from a friend. And basically she bought loads and loads of particular tomato. They're called, I'll just tell you about this. It's such a good recipe. They are called, I'll tell you the name. Particular flavor, San Manzano tomatoes. So you buy like three kilograms of them and you put them into a saucepan. You just, you don't need to chop them. You just need to peel them. We put them with one large white onion cut in half and we cooked it for like three hours. And it made the most, with a little bit of olive oil and then you blitzed it, take the onion out and you blitz it. And we added basil and it made the most incredible tomato sauce. Unbelievable, so good. It's a great time for people to experiment with home cooking. Now's the time to do it. And it's such a lovely thing to do with your children or your partner or whoever is at home with you and learning new skills and teaching children new skills about cooking. There's no better time to do it. I think more and more people are actually home cooking now. Even people that didn't home cook are starting to do it because it's such a fun activity to do. And also like, I think you get really good quality meals when you make them from scratch. So I think, you know, if they went onto my website or they took one of my books, they went onto my app and they chose a recipe and they made it together with a family member. It's, it's fantastic. It's a fabulous thing to do. And now we've got the time to do it. And everybody, like, the one thing we can still do is cook and eat. 
the only shops open are food shops. How was it for you to be a mother of three and an entrepreneur building a rapidly growing global business? My daughter always worked with me because she's part of my team, but Scarlett has a social media company and she does lots of work with different brands, but now she's working with me. So they're actually getting paid to spend time with me, which I think has really eased the tension. It's <laughs> quite good. So now she films me cooking recipes, then we put them on my Instagram so people can follow them. And it's lovely working with my children. It's I feel an absolute privilege that I can work with my kids. And being a mumpreneur, you do make a lot of sacrifices, you know, when you're building your business. And of course, you want to be there for the important things with your children, like, you know, sports day and when they're on the play. And, you know, my kids like my musical instruments, being there for their concerts. But sometimes you can't always be there. So now I can spend so much more time with my kids because I actually work with them. And I think that's, for me, it's, I think it's wonderful. A few months ago, you released your latest book. Tell us more about it. So it's a book about weaning. It's called Weaning Made Simple. It's a beautiful book and it takes you through everything you need to know from the very first taste that your baby has. You can do traditional weaning, you can do baby led weaning, you can do a combination of the both because a lot of the recipes are two in one recipes. So for example, I made a video the other day of chicken and apple balls, which can be made into balls so the child can feed themselves, or you can be making it into a puree so you can feed the child with a puree, but the same ingredients and the same recipe basically. You were recently in Australia to promote the latest book. You are very hands-on with your business. How do you work with parents around the world? Yes, so we have food ranges and supermarkets in Australia and I went out there to develop some new recipes. So that was an interesting experience because they wouldn't let me go into the factory. So I sent them the recipes in advance and then they, the chef brought the recipes back to my hotel room and the head of marketing and I tasted all the recipes. And then we said what we didn't like about them, what we did like about them and we kept on getting different variations until we got them right. So it was good because it was just before the lockdown. So I managed to do all that work in Australia before we couldn't travel anymore. And then I also worked with a lot of like uh, parenting sites in Australia to talk about our new project, which is a really exciting project, which has just launched, which is a digital online weaning course. So it's everything to do with weaning, but you download it from my website. It's got videos, it's got um, advice from the top experts, like top experts on allergies, top experts on you know how to create meals if your child has a dairy, dairy intolerance. And it's got all the advice you need to be able to make the right choices for your child in the very first year of their life. So I was launching that here and also in Australia, and it's just launched. If, if anybody wants to look for it, you go to our website and look at Digital Weaning Course. So it's been a huge amount of work. It's taken us a year to produce that. What is the first thing that you will do when the lockdown is over? Go and see my mother. I haven't seen my mother for six weeks. <laughs> and it's her birthday on the 3rd of May. Fabulous. Thank you for listening to the Athena 40 podcast, Bouncing Back. Stay tuned. More episodes coming up. Please feel free to subscribe. Athena 40 is hosting conversations with thought leaders, entrepreneurs, influencers, and decision makers from all over the world in this effort to find our new normal. You can find more information on us on athena40forum.com. Follow us on Twitter on Athena underscore 40. Please stay safe, stay inspired.